Hey guys, it's GED question of the daytime. And some of you are cheering right now because you saw that I'm done with fractions. And some of you are crying because you see the word problem up here. Uh, let me get my pen out. Uh, but you're crying because you see the word problem up here combined with the algebra and you're panicking. And don't panic. This thing is easier than it looks and it's very GED typical. Let's check it out. It says the Yavapai County swim team charges a yearly $275 registration fee. Okay, that's some math right there. We're getting charged $275 each year for a registration fee. Plus a $25 meet fee for each competition. So I'm getting $25 each competition the participant enters. Um... Which equation below could be used to find the cost to the participant T who participates in M meets? And I think I should have clarified by including a couple more words here. I will right now. Let's pretend this was always there. Who participates in M meets per year? Which equation below could be used to find the cost to the participant T who participates in M meets per year? Okay, so, and they've written a bunch of equations. Now we can see that they all have a T equals, meaning they're all saying to find, well, what did they tell us capital T equaled? They told us capital T was the cost to participant. So to find the cost per participant, that's what I, we're saying with these equations. And then we look at what to do. So look at looking at this one, it says, Take 275 and times it by M, the number of meets you're in. Take 275 and times it by M, the number of meets you're in. But that's weird. That looks weird to me because I know that this $275 is the registration fee. I just pay that once a year, not every single time I'm in a meet. And so I don't want that 275 to be multiplying with M. That doesn't make any sense. I want that 275 to just be paid once one time. I'm just going to pay it one time per year. Make sure the 275 is not getting multiplied. Okay, I got two questions like this. Uh, two uh, answers like that. I have the 275 over here and I have the 275 over here. Neither one is getting multiplied. Neither one has an M on it. So those looks pretty good to me. Whereas in this one, I'm taking the 275 and multiplying it by the number of meets. No way. 275 multiplied by the number of meets. No way. Okay, now let's examine the other two. Uh, one thing I like about both C and D is that I see that there's a 25 multiplying by the number of meets. 25 multiplying by the number of meets. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Why? Because of this statement I had up here. It said that we were going to pay a $25 meet fee for each competition for each meet. What does that mean? That means that I'm going to pay that $25 over and over and over again. I'm going to pay it multiple times. How many times? Well, M times the number of meets that I'm in. Uh, so definitely C and D look good with that 25 M. So the only thing I really got to figure out is whether that 275 it should be added on to the meet fees or whether that 275 should be subtracted from the meet fees. Well, let's think about it. Is that 275, that additional fee is, oh, that first fee we're paying, is that in a addition to the meat fees or does that get taken away from the meat fees? Of course, that original 275 is in addition to the meat fees. And so C is my correct answer. Very tricky, but notice I didn't even use a lot of algebra to think about it. I actually just used some common sense. So what are we saying here? We're saying to find the total cost that I'm going to pay this year. I'm going to take the number of meets that I participate in and pay $25 for each one of those meets, 25 times the number of meets. And I'm going to pay an additional fee. I'm going to pay that $275 registration fee. By using this equation, I could find the total amount I'm going to spend all year on my swim team. All right. If you have any questions about this or any other GED concept, be sure to drop it in the comments. And if you found this challenging, I got good news. We got a couple more examples coming just like this.